G'day legends, right hey, welcome to another Friday afternoon install. So, today we are going to do the wiring harness, wiring harness for the new N80 behind the grill light bar, which by now you've all seen, that's why you're looking at this video. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be a very interesting one. We're down at UV 4x4, we want another excursion, okay, same day as the other video, but another excursion, we've gone to UV 4x4 again at Ipswich, then the boys have been kind enough to help us develop this harness and of course let us do the video in their workshop so we don't have to drive around the countryside so and actually I'm not going to lie we're going to get Peanut here we'll have a look at Peanut this is Peanut hi we're going to get Peanut he's nervous with cameras to help us out today so because he actually developed this so I've got no idea where it goes so we're going to do a bit of handiwork together and see how we go so we have to have a quick break because I still have the same beer so we're going to change it's getting a bit hot anyway so this week we are back on. Let's give it a crack. We'll have a taste first. See if you can guess what I'm on this week. Mm. These are pretty good. If you haven't tried them, you need to try them. Oh, let me get... This is a good stubby cooler. Like, it's very tight. It's tight. The Hawaiian Pale Ale. Oh, oh. oh it's back. The Ballistic Beer Co. Like, they just keep drawing me back. Like, it's, it's bloody good. You like them? They're good, eh? Yeah, I got some in a gift pack. Uh, last year, year before, yeah, mint, mm. absolutely mint. Peanut approved, we're on. And that's not paid because I've, I even thought we we're going to get a free carton and we didn't get one. I am disappointed, but sick. Like, look at these sunnies, look at the mushy shirt. Come on, what more are we going to do? <laughs> right, let's get into it. So, Peanut, I need to get these glasses because I cannot see the deed. Hilux, wiring harness. You're going to get this, what you're going to get. It's going to be far better packaged than this. And you can see themselves a nice harness. So we'll just Roll this out, and ta-da! So how we're going to set it up <clears throat> is so when it comes into the car in the dash, right, you can have an option. You can either run your switch in the center or run it down by where your lights and everything are, which is probably a, more of a, I guess it makes more sense to put it there because that's where your lights are. So, um, yeah, but the option is totally yours. I think that's where we'll put ours over there. Maybe we'll see, see how we feel when we get in the car. Right on, let's get into it. Let's go, Peanut. Ready? Yeah. Well, let's, as you're filming, Al, I'm, I'm tagging you in the story. <laughs> Mention AP Media. Now, Peanut is one of the stars of UV 4x4. Actually, I don't even know, but hopefully I'll just start with some mad banter. <laughs> They've called me the senior fitter. It's mostly because my back hurts all the time. <laughs> so that's when you get old, eh? <laughs> right, eh? So let's get into it then. Don't forget, Pirate Piss Takes. Now, Pirate piss takes. I'm gonna put it in every video now. Film your install when you when you beep up. Make sure you get that bit and just send us that section where you stuff up. And Al behind the camera, he's gonna do a full compilation at the end of every month. So the first of every month, we're gonna drop it on YouTube and social media and that. And whoever we think is the best one is gonna get like four or five hundred dollar bloody gift voucher to the web store. I feel like I keep going up oh, every wow. time I say it, eh? <laughs> but we're gonna make it cool because I want everyone to get involved. I just want to see everyone being as stupid as I am and put. So let's do it, guys. Come on. I don't think that's possible. Whoa! I've seen your See video. See what I'm going to deal with? That's the challenge. Beat him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can you beat me? <laughs> We're going to disconnect the battery first and make sure that the battery is completely disconnected. No power. We can't hurt the car. Can't hurt ourselves. And it is only 12 volt, but we don't want to hurt the car because I don't want to be responsible neither. So disconnect the battery. Now, in here. So in here is where we're disconnecting the headlight. You see a little plug there. Plug here that matches that headlight. Oh, I'm I've, I've, upside down, Miss Jane. Here we go. So one goes into the plug you put off the back of the headlight, like so. Then the other plug here, we plug that back into the back of the headlight. Beautiful. Easy as that. Now this. This is what I like about this one. This one's, this one's probably even easier than the next gen one. I thought that one was good. Now, now we need to mount the, the relay, so I'll help paint out out here. We're going to see this slot here beside the washer bottle in front of this tab for the headlight. We're going to bolt it on there, so we're going to, we're going to hold that there for Peanut, and he's going to... You need to move your hand out of the way. <laughs> I need to move my hand. So I've got a nut that's got to tuck up in behind. Yeah. So this is going to be bad for the camera, but it's also bad for your hands. It's beautiful, Peanut. This is beautiful. 
Oh, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> if we can drop something even better. Five bucks, you'll drop this nut. It's not the nut I'm worried about. Yeah, no, five bucks, you're dropping it. Five bucks. <laughs> five bucks. Five bucks to me or five bucks to you? <laughs> <laughs> no, you'll pay me five bucks if you drop it. This guy over here with the beard, newly grown beard. That's Al. Al's like the star of UV 4x4. <laughs> and then that's Billy. Oh, work, I'm working up a sweat, boys. There we go. Mm. Dude, it change hands. Keep up traction. Keep up good work, mate. <laughs> Before you do well. it up, you want to send your wire, your Deutsch connection, which is this one here. You want to send that through the hole to connect it up to so the light bar. Give you a quick oh, look at that again. Dropped it. Dropped it. We'll feed him back. So, Deutsch connector. There's another one here from the light bar. So you see there's a gap between these two here. Turn the washer bottle in there. You just feed him through there. Grab the two. Plug him in. Now look, we're going to come back later and tidy this up, but let's show you how that goes. Right, now that that wire's through there, we'll try and go back hand on this. Just nip it up, adjust where that relay sits. Send it. Beautiful. That is magic. So what are we up to next? Uh, we will attach our power and earth. They literally just tuck down beside the battery as you go. The power will tuck all the way behind. Oh yeah, this is good. Move that earth out of the way. And then the earth will sit on top of there when we put our earth back into position after finishing the rest of the wiring. Perfect. Now, make sure when you get this, this peanut forgot to put a fuse in this. So make sure you check this. So make sure there's a fuse in here when you get it. There will be a fuse, but you know, I just thought I'd show you that and I couldn't even open it. <laughs> right, hey. So where are we going in the cab then? Uh, I'll get the power get the in there first. Sort of get in a confined space with this big man. Rawr. <laughs> so power on. Next step is power on. That's beautiful. Look at that, even goes back in. Right, so then you get your main leg of the harness. You feed it underneath the accessories box, uh, accessories fuse box here. It's beautiful. You just pull it all the way through as far as it'll go. And tuck it down again between the battery and the body. That's beautiful. Uh, you'll need three zip ties, which are included, in this mm. next bit. Three. Not four. Three. <laughs> One directly behind that fuse box. One in the corner. And then one directly above where that grommet in the firewall is. <laughs> you just dropped my nut. Ooh. I didn't say you busted now, it. There's another one for, for pirate piss takes. That's three today. We're doing well. Now see it's always good to have a mate like me. So if you're if you're not doing the install, we got a mate like me, definitely bring him around because it makes for good entertainment. You know, this is where we give Steve a shout out now. So as you know, you've seen Stevie hide, so we can bust his face up the barber on the mini bike at Christmas. Now, he actually brought me a set of magnets off Alibaba. There's like five of them, just so I could pick everything up that I lose. And that's all right. Whoa, whoa! Don't that's forget number to cut four your tails. Take. <laughs> Don't forget to cut your zip tie tails. But just leave a little bit on them, so when, they, when, they, when your mechanic comes along or the next spark, he comes along to bloody... Do a bit of work, he starts cutting himself and he starts cutting. Like this? Like that. See? That's what happens. 30 degrees, so. optimal angle. <laughs> so that's what you do, just leave just a little bit on there. Right, once you're at this point, uh, you need to cut one of the nipples off the firewall. The one towards the outside here is preferred because it's a straight shot through 
when you get the wiring through under the glove box. So you just get a pair of side cutters, cut and pull, comes straight off. Beautiful. That was really well done. Now, what's our secret weapon here? Okay. Tell them. I have here plain old glass cleaner. You can use dishwashing liquid, a bit of water, anything like that. Or? Yeah. Good spit on it. <laughs> oh, you're gross. <laughs> but you give it a quick spray and feed it straight in the hole. Oh, that was actually really good. Probably get about that far and stop because you'll have to guide it from inside. So, first thing we do when we come in here is find a good spot for the beer, which I think, yeah, it's not a bad spot. We're good, right? Eh? So, glove box, pull the crap out of it. There's a couple of things here and here. There's also a thing on the side. There is too. So, you turn them sideways, boink, pull that out, turn it sideways. That one's not coming out easy. Drop that over like that. Now there is this thing on the side. I actually off. don't know how to get that bit out. Literally just pop straight off. Oh, just pop straight off. There we go. Yep, just pop, pull that sideways and pop it off. And you can pull it out. Look at that, we're on. That's all out, God box out now. You can actually see your wire. Yep, just pull it straight through. <laughs> that is the best wire I've ever fed into a car. Look at that, it's right there. Jeez, oh, I'm starting to like this thing. Oh, yeah, right. So, it'll feel weird pulling it straight out the way it comes out. Literally, fingers in the corner here. Just give it a pull. <laughs> and it can come out that easy, or it could be a little bit tougher. You have to pull this side as well. But, but yeah, it's, it's literally that simple. That was actually really easy, eh? It's your car. <laughs> you hey? Good thing it's your car. Good thing it's my car, but that was actually really easy. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm bloody impressed. So you're going to follow Just the wiring through Just got to make sure you've here. pulled your wiring all the way through up to where the uh, convoluted tubing is. It'll pull and stop like that. Like this? Like so you do this? Okay, she's through. <laughs> so you want to send up through to where my finger is? Oh, yep. Yep. Cool. So yeah, she's a struggle now. Pull it straight through to about that point and you're going to need two zip ties over there. Here you go. He's bloody good, isn't he? He goes, gets the zip ties. He's organised. Like he, he, he is organised. Now this, I've got to say, we're just about done. This has got to be a 20-minute install. As long as the video comes out as good as Peanut's doing it, it's got to be a, what do you reckon, 20-minute install? Yeah. Give or take, yeah. Yeah, this is a pretty good install. One zip tie way up here. Oh, my bad. And one back down over here. And that just keeps it away from the glove box when it's back in place. It doesn't rattle and annoy everyone? Yes. Yeah, that's what we like. And again, cut your tails. Cut your tails, leave a little bit on to get the, get the next guy. You'll need another zip tie in here just to hold that in place. If I can get my fat hands in. Oh, dropped it. <laughs> Once you've got that one zip tied there, you feed this directly in behind and you should be able to quite easily get it to your hand if it feeds well. If it feeds well, where are you? There. It comes straight out through there. And this is where you'll add a Deutsch connection on the end of that. So at the moment there is some electrical tape on the end of it. Oh, my eyes. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Somewhere there. Oh, I think I got it. Yep. And there are three colours there. You've got your white, yellow, and brown. And just grab that connector. Oh, this is the, this is the tricky part. Now, this is the tricky part. So make sure this is the part where you. And you pay attention. Because this is the part that gets tricky. And lucky he's doing it, not me. That'll be another 10 for the piss take. Okay, you'll see on the side of here, uh, where are they all? You've got A, B, and then C. Oh. So that does make it a bit easier. Find position A, and that is going to be yellow, I think. Yes. 
Now it's more fire. <laughs> now it's Position fire. A is yellow. I just got to try and rely on my, you know, what it up memory. Position B is white. And that means that position C can only be brown. And as you push them in, you'll hear them click and lock into place. Then there's a central locking tab that needs to go down inside there. That's where it goes in. So yeah, that's beautiful. And it goes in. Well, it can go any way. It's three ways, but it will only fit in the one. Okay. Technically the one uh, way. Yep. So once you've got that to there, that's ready to plug into the rest of the wiring loom. And you'll have one more zip tie to connect up underneath the steering column. I don't know if you can see the wiring down under there very well. But that'll get zip tied to there once you've got this in behind this panel here. Uh, there's no real simple way to get that out, I think, unless you can get your hands up in there. Oh, that's not going to work. Oh, there we go. I did it. And that literally pushes straight out. Uh, you can use plastic trim removal tools to pop it out. Screwdriver. Uh, I'd avoid a screwdriver if you're trying to keep your dash good. Screwdriver. Something plastic works. Screwdriver would be fine. No one will see it. <laughs> Do it from the bottom first. <laughs> and you're going to pop out the blank or one of the blanks that are in there by literally squeezing the two locking tabs. You can go to the top then the bottom or the bottom and the top either way. That literally comes straight out and you've got your blank position open. Okay, so you've got your switch that says LED light bar. Just a plug it and press and you know what. Make sure it lines up the same way as everything else. Yeah, the Literally just the blue too, aren't they? Yeah. Yes, I believe yeah. so. Matches Literally just pushes in and clicks into place and locks exactly the same as everything else. You take the other end of your loom. You'll tuck this one in and behind. And this can literally only plug in one way to lock into place. And you'll hear it click when it's in place properly. On the other end of this black wire, you've got a, a crimp connection. That's the one. And you'll have another bolt washer and spring washer in the kit. And that will get literally inside this panel area here. There's a couple of points there and there. They are both shredded. So either of those are usable as an earth point. And you just need a 10 mil spanner. <laughs> Let's tighten that up. And once that earth's connected up, that will only plug one way into that switch. And you'll sort of hear it click as it goes in. And then simply pushing back into place. And don't forget to put your zip tie underneath the steering column. Alright, so putting the centerpiece back in, line them all up. Oyster. You'll need to pull this top section away to tuck the bottom section underneath, but once it's lined up, literally just pushes back into place. Literally just pushes back into place. <laughs> I'm impressed. I am impressed. Oh. Your turn. Can't even pick these up. Right, so glove box. These bad boys here. That one's there. Nice and nice and easy. It's bloody. Oh, where's that light gone? Get that light? Yeah, there we go. So we want to line those up like so, over there, and just, oh. There we go, just drops back on. Nope, not that one, yep. And then, don't forget this side bit. You want to push that back on, get our little duvalackies. Now, they only go in one way, from memory, they do. Oh, there we go, righto. So that's the way it goes in. Here. Put that one in. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Another pirate piss take. So, you do also need to have this up like that, past where it obviously comes down first. So, get this one ready to go back in. I feel, I feel like it was upside down. Yeah, bloody was. Righto, push him up there. It goes the opposite the way to what I just showed you. <laughs> and of course, this way here. 
that in see, to be honest. There we go. Lock that one in. Throw your crap back in here. Boom. Job done. Now, that's it, eh? We're all oh, done. We're hook up the earth again. Ah, we're going to hook up the earth. All right, last step. Most important, you're earthing. Put your main body earth on first. Then your wiring loom earth. Then your nut. And do it up. Now we're ready to rock and roll. Righto, it's the moment of truth. Let it rip, Peanut. Oh, Jesus Christ. Righto, that was a success. So, you've seen them. Look at them. Look at them. That's actually really warm. That is really bright. So, that's the light bar kit and any Hilux. You know where to find it. Down at the bottom of the comments. Subscribe, like, leave us a comment. Thank you for all the support, guys. It's bloody amazing. Everyone had seen the four-wheel drive show a few weeks ago. You melted my heart. <laughs> Pirate piss takes, don't forget it, pirate piss takes. Film it, send it in, you're gonna get some free Let's make it happen guys, Ooh, see you next week.